Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. I just had the coolest thing happen to me. I'm driving down the road, getting ready to shoot this video, and there's a Jeep Gladiator, and I see it, because I'm always watching for trucks and stuff. It's what I do, right? And he gets up to about the back of my truck, and he starts honking, beep, 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 beep. And I, I think right away, he probably saw the Rob Motive thing on the truck or whatever, and he did. He pulls up beside me, he's giving me the thumbs up, and he waves and stuff, and really cool. I, I think that's awesome. Obviously, somebody who's aware of the channel and stuff like that, probably the Gladiator channel, Rob Motive JT, uh, and then saw the Rob Motive on the truck. But anyway, I just wanted to share that. Pretty cool. I, I love that kind of stuff. So anyway, how can you actually save gas, improve your fuel economy in the Toyota Tacoma? You know, I get a lot of comments about that. People talking about how bad the fuel economy is. Is there anything you can do? Cold air intakes, exhausts. There are a few things that you can do, actually. Number one, go on a diet. Lose some weight. I'm kidding, of course. Nobody's going to do that. But obviously, everything that has weight that you haul around, including you in your truck, affects your fuel economy. I've lost some weight myself, about 10 pounds. I'm not getting 30 miles to the gallon, but it must have made some kind of a, to the nth degree, positive effect, right? But there are really other things that you can do. Number one, leave it stock. You know, I it always cracks me up. People who say they're getting horrible fuel economy, and then you ask them, well, what mods have you done to the truck? And they say, well, I've put bigger wheels and tires on it. I've lifted it. And I'm thinking right off, well, first of all, you're hauling around more weight with those bigger tires. You might have put lighter wheels on, but the tires, they weigh a lot more, a lot more than the all seasons that the truck comes with generally, unless you get a pro or something, or maybe it was some special at the dealership. You're going to affect your fuel economy, sidesteps, roll bars, tonneau covers, any of that kind of stuff. Mods that you add to the Toyota Tacoma that have weight to them. And last I checked, anything that you put on is going to add some amount of weight, right? And that stuff adds up, right? You know, if you ever noticed, on the inside of your door jam over there, there's generally, a, usually, I think always, a sticker. I think it's yellow, black print. And it will say that the weight usually the hauling capacity of the truck has been changed or affected, reduced, because mods have been added to the truck, like sidesteps. They weigh about 40 pounds or something like that, 30 to 40 pounds. And it will say on there, the hauling capacity or the weight limit of the truck or whatever, whatever the verbiage is, has been reduced by X amount. Sometimes it's in metric. I can't stand that. But usually they'll put the English version there as well because I'm not good with the metric system. But anyway, that kind of stuff is going to reduce the fuel economy on your truck because you're hauling around more weight. What about the junk that you haul around, right? Are you one of these people that has a tonneau cover on the back, a, a fuel economy reducing feature? And no, it's not going to increase your fuel economy because it changes the airflow over the bed. That is a myth. You're never going to have a, an increase because you leave the tailgate down or put a, a tonneau cover on or anything like that. But if you're one of these folks that puts a bunch of junk in the back and then hauls it around with you everywhere you go, you know, tools, camping equipment. Speaking of camping equipment, what about one of those rooftop tents? What do they weigh? 100 pounds, 200 pounds by the time you have junk in them and covers and all that stuff, that isn't going to help you either. Not to mention you're changing the aerodynamics of the truck. You're making it more like a wall going down the road. That's going to affect your fuel economy. If you're concerned about it, you can't do that. You can't add a rooftop tent or anything like that. What about just a, a roof rack, like a print suit rack or something. While they do have some aerodynamic, <clears throat> while they do have some aerodynamic features about them, I mean, you can see they're curved and they have covers down the sides, all that good stuff. They still weigh something, right? Those things are not light. They're going to reduce your fuel economy as well. Let's talk about exhausts and intakes. 
you know a lot of the vendors out there will state that if you go with this exhaust or that intake it's going to increase your fuel economy and it might to a small degree something so small that you would have to have it on a machine to be able to get a readout that shows that you've increased your fuel economy. I've never had it happen. And I've had different exhausts, different intakes. I've never seen an increase in fuel economy. And while we're talking about the effects of those two things, exhausts and intakes, a lot of them will claim they'll increase power as well. I've never seen it. I'm sure if you throw it on a dyno and, and run it through something with sensitive measuring equipment, you might see an increase that way. But my general rule is, if you can't feel it while you're in the seat, it doesn't exist. So it doesn't. There's no little device that you're gonna put on as far as intakes and exhaust go that are going to increase your fuel economy. Now, there is one exception to this. That is the pedal commander. Now, I'm not trying to turn this into a pedal commander commercial. You can save 30 bucks with the discount code down below. But anyway, it has an eco mode. That, of course, is going to reduce the power of the truck. The less powerful it is, the more fuel you're going to save. So if you're looking to be a hyper miler, throw a pedal commander on there and run it around in eco mode. Although I have had some people say that they've experienced a fuel savings running in some of the more performance oriented modes. The reason for that, I think, is because they're not stomping on the pedal as much. I think when you have throttle lag, you, you overcompensate. So you hit the gas, thus burning more gas, and you don't have to when you get immediate throttle response, which is what you get with a pedal commander. Anyway, I digress. That is one device, though, that will save you some, some gas. Otherwise, there's not really a whole lot that you can do. Be gentle on the pedal. If you're one of those rabbit starters, you know, you get to the stoplight, you've just got to be the first one off the line. Well, obviously you're gonna have lower fuel economy. So be a little bit more gentle. I try to be more gentle myself. Right now I'm getting 17.1 miles per gallon. That's up from the 15.1 I was getting earlier but I've been driving on some higher speed roads. And that's the last thing I'll mention about improving fuel economy. If you live in an area like I do that has an option to take what we call frontage roads, they run right along the freeway, the same directions, or the freeway itself, you're better off to take the freeway. You're not gonna have the stops that you get on the frontage roads where you just sit there and burn gas, the lower speeds. Obviously, if you're running on a freeway at the speed limit, 60 to 70 something like that generally miles per hour you're gonna you're gonna experience better fuel economy so given the option you probably should take the freeway as opposed to the frontage road if you're looking to increase fuel economy anyway i just wanted to get on talk about that a little bit i get questions on the channel i see comments all the time all over the place about how poor the fuel economy is on the tacoma those are just a few things that you can do to increase it just a little bit, maybe one to three miles per gallon if you're lucky. Leave a comment, let me know. Are you one of these people that hauls around all kinds of weight? I'd just be curious to know. Thanks for watching, stay safe out there, bye.